Edexcel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 1, October 2021, Question 3. The sequence U1, U2, U3 is defined by UN plus 1 equals K minus 24 over UN and U1 equals 2, where K is an integer. Given that U1 plus 2U2 plus U3 equals 0, we need to show that 3K squared minus 58K plus 240 equals 0. So we've got that u1 equals 2. Substituting this into the formula, we get that u2 is equal to k minus 24 over our value for u1, which is 2. So this simplifies to k minus 12. We can now substitute this one in again to get u3. So this is equal to k minus 24 over our last answer of k minus 12. Now we've got u1, u2, u3. Let's put them into the equation we've been given which is u1 plus 2u2 plus u3 equals 0. So we get 2 plus 2 lots of k minus 12 plus k minus 24 over k minus 12 is equal to 0. We can simplify those first three terms by expanding the bracket, bringing them together. So that's 3k minus 22 minus 24 over k minus 12 is equal to 0. We've got a fraction there, which we don't want in our final answer. So let's multiply everything through by k minus 12. So we've got 3k minus 22, all multiplied by k minus 12, minus the 24 from the numerator of the fraction. That's all equal to zero. Expanding the brackets gives us 3k squared minus 22k minus 36k plus 264 minus 24 is equal to zero, which if we collect like terms, gives us 3k squared minus 58k plus 240 equals 0 as required. For part b we need to find the value of k giving a reason for our answer. So we already know that 3k squared minus 58k plus 240 equals 0. So this is just a matter of solving that quadratic. You could use a function on the calculator if you wanted. You could factorise up to you, I'm going to go for the quadratic formula. So k is equal to 58 plus or minus the square root of minus 58 all squared, minus 4 times 3 times 240, all over 2 times 3. So that gives us 484 under the square root and 6 on the denominator, which gives us answers of k equal to 40 over 3 and 6. But we're told at the beginning that k is an integer which means that k must be equal to 6. Notice this is the point where in the question it says give a reason for our answer. It's because of this point. For part c we need to find the value of u3. Well we've already worked out that u3 is equal to k minus 24 over k minus 12 and we know that k is equal to 6. We've just worked that out. So u3 is equal to 6 minus 24 over 6 minus 12 which comes to 10. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.